How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be looking at how we can create a Telegram bot in Python and this Telegram bot is going to work both in groups as well as in private messages and the one I've created is called James and right now you can type in something such as hello and you'll say hey there and of course you'll also have some commands that you can use such as slash help to get started with using this bot. It's going to have a thumbnail, it's going to have a description and you can easily find this bot on Telegram, so anyone can use it at the moment. And as I mentioned earlier, we also will have a group chat where you can actually talk with the bot. And the way it's going to work is that you say, this is a message, for example, and then you need to quote the bot, which is James in this example. And when you send the message, it's going to respond to whatever you input. And this also works with the commands. You just need to say slash help at bot and it's going to work as you can see right there. So it's going to be a very simple chatbot and you can add some basic commands, some basic responses, and it's going to be able to respond to those messages. So that's what we're going to be doing today in Telegram. So the first step to creating a bot is searching for bot father in the search bar in Telegram. And this is the entry point to creating bots on Telegram. So go ahead and start this bot and it's going to give you a lot of different options. And the first one we want to start with is the slash new bot command. And it's going to ask what do you want to call it? We're going to go ahead and call this, let's say, Mr. Bytes and go ahead and tap on send. And then we need to give it a username. So we're going to call it Mr. Bytes bot and tap on enter. And then you're going to get a confirmation message with a token and we need to use this token in our Python script to let the program know that we're talking and interacting with Mr. Bytespot. And yours is going to be unique, so definitely don't try to copy this one over here because I will delete this as soon as I'm done recording the video. But once you have that, go ahead and open a new empty Python project and create a new Python file and just type in keys. And inside here, we're going to type in token which is going to equal your token from Telegram. Now, I also want to go through a lot of the configuration so we don't have to do this later, but you can change this at any moment in the program. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and set a user pick. And we need to pick a bot in case you have several, but we're just going to be using Mr. Bytes bot. And then we need to send a picture. And I'm going to be using the picture of Mr. Bytes. And that is perfect, so I'll click on Enter and it's going to set that photo as our bot photo. Now I also want to set a description for the bot and it's going to say choose a bot for that description and here it's going to give you a small detailed message on what it's going to do. This bot can do everything and we'll tap on send and that's going to be our description and we also want to go ahead and set the about text and we'll go ahead and tap on Mr. Bytes again. And this will be the text next to the bot when we are on its page. So we can type in, hello there, I am Mr. Bytes. Nice to meet you. And we'll tap on send. Next, we'll go ahead and type in set privacy and we can go ahead and tap on Mr. Bytes. And here we have the privacy settings for whether we want the bot to respond in groups or not based on these two options. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and disable this so we have some more flexibility. And finally, we need to take care of the set inline settings. So Mr. Bytes bot, and inside here, we need to provide a placeholder. So they will see this next to the bot name in case they want to write a message. It's gonna give a nice short descriptive message. And I'm just going to write, I respond with random responses. And that's going to take care of setting up our bot with bot fodder. And in case you ever get confused, you can always go back to the top where you have all of these options and you can play around with those. And later we'll come back here to set the commands, but we haven't created that yet. So we can just skip that for now. And the next step is to look for Mr. Bytes bot. And here we are. And as you can see, this bot can do everything if we launch it. We're not going to get that start message because we haven't designed it yet. But if we tap on Mr. Bytes, 
we'll get all of the info that we've just inserted. Hello there, I'm Mr. Bytes, nice to meet you. So the goal for the rest of this tutorial is to, of course, add the code so we can interact with this bot. So next we're going to go back to our code editor and tap on main.py and we're going to open up the terminal so that we can pip install python dash telegram dash bot. And then we can close the console and we're going to delete the placeholder and type in from telegram dot extensions. We're going to import everything to keep this simple. And we want to import the keys and we can close that sidebar. And the first message I want to insert is the starting text. So starting up bot. And this is very effective for letting us know that our script is currently running. So we'll just start with that. Now, next, I want to take care of creating the commands and commands are just very easy shortcuts for people who are interacting with your bot. They can just type in shortcuts such as slash help and it will just give a nice response. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and get started by typing def start command. And in general, this will be played the first time the user opens the bot and it needs context. And here we're going to go ahead and type in update dot message dot reply text. And there should be a dot. And inside here, you just insert the text you want the bot to say as soon as someone starts your bot. So here we'll type in hello there. I'm a bot. Nice to meet you. And that's all it takes to create a command. So let's go ahead and create a few more of these. So the next command we'll create is called a help underscore command. And every time they call this command, we're going to go ahead and insert this reply. Try typing anything and I will respond. And finally, let's do one more just to show you that you can create a lot of commands. And here we'll just type in, this is a custom command. And you can insert any kind of code you want inside these blocks. This is just where you return the message. So up next, we need to go ahead and create a function that can handle the response. And it's going to take a text of type string and it's going to return a string. So this function is where you want to insert your own logic for actually processing text and returning a proper response. And I'm not going to be going over any algorithms for this, but I'm just going to show you how it can be done in theory. So in general, you would just insert your own response logic inside here. And we're going to create a very simple chatbot. So if hello is in text, then we're going to go ahead and return, hey there. If how are you is in the text, then we're going to return, I am good, thanks. And if none of those return anything, we're just going to go ahead and return IDK because the bot wasn't able to process anything that we've inserted so it can just return that it doesn't know. Below this, we're going to go ahead and create a function called handle message, and it's going to take an update and a context as well. And first we want to grab the message type. We want to find out whether it came from a group chat or a private chat. So here we type in update.message.chat.type. And we also want to get the text from the message. So we're going to grab it from the string of the update.message.text. And we want to lowercase that so we can process it much easier. And initially the response is not going to equal anything, but we will add text to this depending on what we have inside the text. So first let's make some space and check if the message type is equal to group, then we want to treat it as a group message. And here you need to go ahead and replace this with your own bot's username. So for my example, it's going to be Mr. Bytes bot. So if this is in the text, that means it's a message that we want to respond to because we're actually talking to the bot. And we're going to go ahead and type in new text. It's going to equal the text dot replace. And we want to replace at Mr. Bytes bot with an empty string. And we're also going to strip this, which removes the white spaces from the beginning of the string and the end of the string. And the response is going to equal handle response with the new text inserted. Else, we're going to go ahead and just say that the response should be handled as a normal response in a private chat and insert the text. And at the bottom of this, all we have to do is go ahead and update the message dot reply text 
and we're just going to insert the response. And I actually wanted to go ahead and add a log. So we're just going to print each time the user says something so we can see it in the console. And here we're just going to go ahead and say that the update.message.chat.id says the following text. So inside here, we'll insert the text in the message type, which is either group or private. And this will take care of the handle message function. Now the final function we need to create is an error handler. So def error, which will take some updates and some context is going to be the following. So print F for formatted string, update, update, caused error. And here we're going to add the context dot error. Now all that's left for us to do is to actually call all the functions we need. So first we need to, of course, create the main check. And then we can create an updater, which is going to equal the updater, and it's going to require a token. So we're going to call keys.token, and we're going to call use context and say that that should be true. And the dispatcher is going to equal the updater.dispatcher. And what we want to take care of first are the commands. So dp.add underscore handler, and we want to add a command handler. And here you want to add the name of your shortcut. So for this example, it's going to be start, and we're going to add the start command, and it should be without the parentheses. And we will just duplicate that two times and say that this will be help with the help command, and this will be custom with the custom command. We also want to add a message handler. So messages dp.add underscore handler message handler. And inside here we add filters dot text followed by handle message. And we also want to log the errors. So errors are going to be logged by dp.add underscore error handler. And we're going to insert the error. And finally, we just want to run the bot. So inside here, we're going to get updater.start polling. And this is just a convenience method that says, how often do you want to check for updates? And we're going to say every one second. And then we're going to call updater.idle, which just says to the program that you shouldn't do anything if there's nothing to be done, but we're going to wait for the next event to happen. And with that being done, we can actually go ahead and run this code. And you're going to find out that once you go to your Telegram bot and you type in slash start once again, this time it's going to respond to you. And you can even say hello, and it will respond to you there as well. And you'll notice that in the console, you'll also get a message that says, user says hello in private. And I actually messed up on this log. So let's go back up and say that user says hello. And this should be over here. So you can see the text inside the quotation marks in this over here. But going back to the bottom and opening up Telegram again, you might have noticed one problem so far, and that is that the slash commands do not work. So we're going to have to go back to Botfather. And inside Botfather, we can go ahead and say set commands. And we want to do it for Mr. Bytes. And here you need to follow the instructions. So command one is going to be start. And here we're going to say starts the bot followed by help shows help tips. And the final one is going to be the custom command. This is a custom command and we'll tap on send. And the commands are going to update. So when we go back to our bot, Mr. Bytes, we're going to have the commands show up there. And this time if we do slash custom, it's going to pop up that this is a custom command. And we can go ahead and say, how are you? And it's going to do the same thing and it's going to appear in the console as well. So everything's working perfectly. Now let's also go ahead and test whether this works in groups. So go ahead to your main chat and open up some sort of test group. And then we want to go ahead and add a member. So we're going to type in at Mr. Bytes bot. And once you add Mr. Bytes, you can say hello at Mr. Bytes and tap on enter. And Mr. Bytes is going to respond inside the chat. You can also do help at Mr. Bytes bot, and it's going to allow you to use that command. And it actually might take a moment for the commands to actually appear in the console. As for James, it did take maybe half an hour or so before I even noticed this button over here that allows you to use custom commands. And here we can type on James again, and James is going to respond instead. And finally, we can try again with Mr. Bytes. We can say, how are you? 
at Mr. Bytes, and Mr. Bytes is going to respond. So at the end of the day, it was that simple to create a Telegram bot in Python. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to look at them. But otherwise, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.